So what we're gonna take you through right now is gonna be some kinetic stretching for the anterior tissues of the hip, basically hip flexor, quad, any of the stuff in the front here. One of the things that you see a lot with FRC that's kind of a mistake is really focusing only on the end range. So when you do your pails and rails, when you do your lift offs, you do these holds, certain things, we're not really training the full range of motion. Any good kin stretch or FRC instructor is gonna tell you the cars are what it's all about. And those really do train full range of motion. But at the same time, you can even break those down to a little bit more. So for example, when I'm doing my hip car, I wanna come all the way up and all the way back. But if I was just gonna pails and rails, I would only be working on that little bit of hip extension at the end. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to own the full range of motion with tension which is essentially a kinetic stretch. So for our setup, you can go ahead and have you with your toe on the ground, or you can end up with your, uh, the top of the foot on the ground, so plantar flex and torso flex. With everything that we do concerning opening up the front of the hip, we want to get out of any anterior pelvic tilt by tucking the pelvis under the water, or under. The best cue that I have for this is think about your pelvis as a bowl of water. I don't want it to spill forward. I want you to try your best to let that spill backwards, okay? So from here, I should already start feeling a little bit of tension right here. If you're a yogi, maybe like, I don't feel anything. That's cool too. From here, pull the belly button in more if you're not feeling it. Feel even more of that stretch in the front. And then we can work on taking our chest up and lengthening the tissues in the bottom side of the rib cage. So just like always, we're going to use our pails and our rails, only this time it's going to be actual movement and not just an isometric. So in order to get forward, I'm going to use my rails, which is hip extension. So I'm going to fire my glute as if it's driving me this way. So I can give my foot a little bit of room to grow and I can drive my hip back, which I should feel the stretch increasing. Notice that I'm not losing the tuck. Nothing's changing in my midline. As I get to my end range, now I can use my pails, which is to use my hip flexor, to pull forward. As my hip's trying to pull forward, my whole entire other side, of, other top of my body's going back. Reverse directions, hip extension, drive back. I'm keeping tension the whole entire way through, all the way forward. Then I can hit my pails, which is hip flexing, and drive me back. So it's not this flipping back and forth. There's a ton of tension the whole way through, and we're essentially learning how to keep that tension as we actively drive forward and back through the full range of motion. When would you do this? Split squats are a great thing right after this. Lunges, just think, even running, any of the motions that's gonna really require hip flexion and hip extension, you're gonna really prime that by recruiting the motor units and then actually doing the movement after. So go ahead and give that a try and let us know how that goes.